So behind me is the sole greatest thing ever built in 2021 thus far. See how we got here and subscribe if you wish to. Do it! Yeah, it worked. Go! Alright, so we flipped the tub. This is step one. We've cut our two bits of steel here to two meters. It gives us 700 mil from here to here. Our toolbox is 600, so we've got a 100 mil gap, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, the headboard tilts slightly forward, and then where the canopy is is also forward. So we're giving ourselves a bit of wiggle room. I'm sure we'll put something there. We're going to measure, we're going to roughly eye up where these sit, measure our sort of gappage. What are we doing? And then possibly, I know a guy who had a minor bingle in his car who's got a spare wheel mount, so I'm hoping to be able to butcher his car and put basically the windy drop downy thingy in here. So we can have our spare wheel and maybe a water tank and possibly do the water tank filly thing through the fuel filly thing with fuel that's been in it. Diesel. So let's get into it. Sound good? All right, so we've quickly measured up our frame. I think we were 1035 between them is what we decided on. We did a little bit of playing around and measuring with a spare higher tire windy thing. So we came forward 375 to the edge here and then we tacked that off. So we're going to now, we've just got tacks, uh, two on each bit and one on the bottom on the other side. But we're going to do our brackets down here, pick up our holes so we can pin the back and then we'll make sure we're still all true and square and then we'll pin the front which we're not sure what we're doing just there yet but we'll sort that and then once that's all pinned we'll center up our axle kit to where we want it tack that and then we'll probably even do our draw bar and then tack all that in and then pull it off the tub so we don't destroy it like we're getting a little bit of splatter on it but it's what was this a 2008 this is already a 12 year old bloody tub no, 13 years old. Time flies when you're useless. Oh, my lens is filthy. Sorry for the filthy lens. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. We're going to quickly drill some holes, tack them. I don't have a tripod, so I can't just set the camera up to like do things, but we'll pick it back up once that's in, and we'll show you the eye-to-eye -eye setup with your angle so you don't invert your shackles all the time. And yeah. Okay, so we've just tacked on our front mounts. A hole in my Got a bolt. It's just flat. It's angle that comes down and loops under the box, and then we've just pinched it into the standard mount. Uh, it's 75 by six flat bar, and I just put a fold in it at work in the bender. So we did the same to the back, but instead of going under the frame, we went out. We did space up 40 mil to keep it level. So we've got the tub level on the concrete, put a level on top so it stays the same so when we flip it it's not like nose down, ass high, whatever you want to call it. Um, we've left the back ones long because we got to make brackets somewhere here to incorporate the rear step in because I'm a fan of the rear step and I don't want it to look just like that. I want it to look like a nice thing. So we're going to do that but I think our next step we're going to do, we'll figure out axle center where we are center of the guard and then we'll put our springs in do our do our do you, whatever uh, do our little fuck you, you threw me off <laughs> piece of shit okay so we'll do our eye to eyes so basically the little ones at the front and your little pivot point is at the back and I believe this is going to end up being 25 or 30 mil as an offset but I think it's 20 degrees is what you want off your 90 so if you had a square 90 degrees it'd be 70 so it sits that way it should just stop it inverting but you sort of got to fine tune it between flipping in and folding back on itself like that or like that but 20 degrees should be sweet for what we're doing if your I don't know shackles are a bit longer it will change will it change though it could change. This is going to work for us. Check. Yeah, check, check, check your stuff. It could be different. If you got these springs, you know how much we paid and it wasn't much. But all right, let's do that. We're still, man.
So, I might have been slightly off on my 20 degrees. It looked way too much. I am legitimately just doing this by eye. I'll probably come back a little bit, but just tack in the front. And then we're gonna, our axle, we pretty much centered our guard. We're a little bit slightly forward, so as it compresses and that bit rolls back, the tire's gonna shift back ever so slightly. So we're ever so slightly forward of the guard, just so we don't mince into here, because this is, comes up to a flat. So we're pretty much center. We're about 10 mil forward of center in the nice dish. So he's just gonna tack that, then he'll tack the front. And then we'll look at our angle here to make sure that's okay and go from there. We're adding 50, 25 just to give us an extra bit of height. That's what you don't want to happen. And then all we're going to do to make sure we get the same position on this side is pick our front point, measure back to our front of our uh, 50, 25. Did you just sit on a hot weld? Yeah. Nice. Um, so yeah, you just measure back. Get your same point there and then measure again get your start point of your hanger same again back here all from your one reference point and just work back and then just replicate it on this side and that way you're staying true and then when you do your draw bar once you center your you tack it down here or clamp it down here you get your pinpoint where you're starting and you come back to your bolt on your springs make sure you're square otherwise you'll track on the piss down the road and no one wants that Crab. you're crabbing no one likes crabs Pretty much all tacked up. I skipped ahead where the springs were, but we centered our drawbar, tacked it on. Ben's starting to stitch it out for what we can do upside down, and then we're going to unbolt the whole thing, and then we're going to flip it over, weld it all, assemble all the axle, wheels, and everything, and then fit the tub back on, bolt it up. Before I forget, we need to do them. So we're going to do that, and then we'll come back when hopefully it's up, welded, assembled, or whatever, and. See where we go. Oh, we gotta get grease. Damn it! I gotta go find some grease. I'll be back. All right. Excuse the music, but we've finally flipped. Just gotta weld the top here, top there. Same, same. Not gonna do anything on the brackets like that because it'll weaken them. We're not welding across here because that becomes a stress and a fatigue point. Gotta weld up here. And like we didn't parallel this, but it's funny strong enough. It's only a 750 kilo trailer. We do have a chain to go on. So that'll just, all we're going to do is sort of like overlay it and then weld around the outer of the chain and a bit in the middle. we have plenty strong. And then I got to drill these two out as I said earlier, drill them two through the box. Give her a good wire brush and then make sure a deeper and give it a clean up. We do have some more brackets to put in eventually. I will put another crossbar in here for the back of the toolbox. And then we'll have some hangers under that for a water tank. The spare wheel thing we still got to do, but for today we're just going to get the tub on it, get it to my place. And then we got another project coming up in here which might make the channel, it might not. But we got to get that done real quick. So we're on a, on a very tight time frame. So we get that sorted, get this sorted, and then hopefully come back to a mad electrical fit out and a step off. I didn't get to the step. All right, team. We had to put a wheel there. We've just got the bolts on. I still well. I still got to put the bolts in. But this is the tub on. We just gave it a light paint. We got to pull this apart to redo, well, to finish doing the framework and put my step on. Very precious about the step. But that's on. I think that's a 67-inch axle and standard RC rims and they sit in pretty much perfect. If we could, we'd probably have gone 66 inches. I think that's tip to tip. What was that base to face? I think tip to tip works. Tip to tip. Yeah, just the tip. So, but it's got, it sits pretty well flat with nothing on it, but we've just put the spare wheel there now. By the time we put the box, and it's a tool trailer, so it's gonna get, you know, batteries and water tank and all the rest of the stuff up front. Oh, you got the other light. But yeah, we're gonna quickly do this. As you can tell, we've lost the light entirely, but the shed is ready for what we need to do next. We have relocated and screwed a box on. Yeah. Nice box you screwed in a while.
Everyone's got psh, noises around here. Yeah. Yeah, I pushed in on it. Look at that. Try and sit on that. Actually takes a fair bit of force. Yeah? You wouldn't sit on it, but it's getting there. Correct on the you wouldn't sit on it part. Mm. That'd be right. By the time you put some power in that water tank under there. Yeah. Okay, so we've just welded in some uni strut. Got three bolts in each side, so six bolts. It's only a 65 litre tank. It'll be more than enough. Uh, we're going to run our plumbing pretty much to a pump maybe behind here. And then we're going to have our filler come up to the factory point just because it's going to be cool. So we might screw the toolbox on. Okay, so we've welded a bit of box here to support our step. It's sort of just tacked at the moment. We've done both sides, but we've left it with a bit of a tail like this. So it actually gives it, if we'd ever come up on something, it'll actually slide. And that 45 is actually after this, so it should slide and hopefully not catch. But after doing that, we realized it's going to be pointless because we're going to put this spare wheel mount right here in a big friggin' tire. So our cool anti-grab design isn't really necessary anymore. But that's the rear step. Wait, do you want to do a video of the rear step? That's the rear step. bumper is on. It's a little bit agricultural on the spare wheel mount. It's just a full stitch down there across the top and a big bit of flat bar. It'll be all right. It's only holding a spare wheel. So this is our setup here. Could probably put a little bit more of weld on it but it doesn't really need much. So test the rear bar. Yeah. Yeah that ain't gonna come off. I hope it doesn't come off, otherwise I'm going to look like an idiot. It's going to stand right at the jockey wheel. It's going to the jockey wheel. Yeah, it ain't going anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we are finishing the video here. We have a water tank in on the Unistrut. We've got a nice looking rear bar on it really does make it look like a better thing so that's on it'll support us and also spare wheel mount is very agricultural but it's in and it'll go through here where in fact where the factory mount was that's not gonna fit but yeah through there and that'll be sweet so now all we got to do is everything else subscribe and like Ben